Edu Gasper is preparing to make a big bid for the emerging star Brazilian. Meanwhile, Arsenal are reportedly in line for a bid with talks at an advanced stage with the player's agent. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Arsenal News Channel. As we're here to bring you the latest updates to keep you informed on all things Gunners. After a successful pre-season tour in the United States, where Arsenal faced Bournemouth, Manchester United and Liverpool, the team returned to London. This Wednesday, Arsenal will host unbeaten German side Bayer Leverkusen at the Emirates Stadium. And on Sunday, we face French giants in our final pre-season match. The team, led by Mikel Arteta, are ramping up their preparations for these crucial games. Our latest signing, Ricardo Calafiori, is now fully integrated into the squad. Arteta is considering whether to give the Italian his debut against Leverkusen. Fans are eager to see how he fits into the team and what he brings to the table. The last five of our international players have returned to training at London Coney. Gabriel Martinelli, Gabriel Mogales, and Kai Havertz all returned last week. Now Declan Rice, Bukayo Sokka, Aaron Ramsdale, David Raya and William Saliba are back on the pitch, ready for action. Six young Arsenal players continue to train with the first team following the US tour. Goalkeepers Tommy Setford and Alexei Rojas remain with the main squad, unsurprisingly, as Aaron Ramsdale and David Raya have just returned to training. Additionally, Miles Lewis Skelly, Ethan Nwanery, Aidan Heaven, and Josh Nichols have been spotted in recent training sessions. In other news, Carl Hein is also still training with the first team as Arsenal looks to secure him a loan move for the 2024-25 season. Arsenal target Mikel Marino has dropped a significant transfer hint after returning to training following a successful Euro 2024 campaign. Marino, who had an extended break after the Euros, was expected by some to join Arsenal once his holiday was over. This week could be crucial for Arsenal to finalise the deal and bring in the Spanish midfielder, although there could be a twist for Mikel Arteta. Historically, players seeking transfers would miss their scheduled return to training to force a move. However, Marino appears to be respecting the remaining 12 months of his Real Sociedad contract, having been spotted at the club's training base. Arsenal fans can take comfort in the fact that Marino has been seen with his representatives, presumably discussing his future with the club. Arsenal's interest remains strong, with talks ongoing with Marino's representatives. However, his recent actions suggest a delay in any potential transfer. His return to training suggests that a move to Arsenal may not be imminent, raising concerns for the Gunners. In May, after a win against Everton, Arteta expressed his desire to finalise the transfer window early, emphasising the importance of the timing for the squad. Two international tournaments have complicated transfer activity for many clubs, and Arsenal now appear to face an additional challenge. Regardless, Marino's return to Sociedad should accelerate discussions over his future. Whether that results in him staying in Spain or moving to Arsenal should be clear soon. Recent reports in Turkish media suggest that Arsenal are preparing a move for Galatasaray striker Bar Alper Ilmaz. The Gunners have shown an interest in the winger following his impressive performances at Euro 2024. According to Turkish newspaper Sok Gazetesi, Arsenal are reportedly accelerating negotiations following recent positive talks with Ilmaz's agent. Arsenal are believed to be ready to make a £17.1 million bid for the Turkish international, but will face competition from other Premier League clubs. Recent updates indicate that Arsenal have been in discussions with Ilmaz's agent since the player left for England. Initial reports from Turkey suggested that Galatasaray were waiting for offers in the region of £25 million. Ilmaz, who plays for Galatasaray and the Turkish national team, remains a key figure in transfer rumours following his standout performances at Euro 2024. The 24-year-old, who made a significant impact in the Super League last season, is expected to be transferred to Europe. The latest developments suggest that talks with Arsenal have intensified recently, and a move could be finalised at any time. The final details are still being discussed, and we could soon find out whether Arsenal are ready to move forward with the player who scored seven goals and provided 12 assists last season. Notably, Ilmaz was valued at just €1.5 million Euros in 2023, highlighting his rapid rise in the world.
In a new development, Juventus have publicly announced that Federico Chiesa is available, giving Arsenal's pursuit a significant boost. The Serie A giants are undergoing a major overhaul under their new manager Thiago Motta, who is planning to offload up to eight players this summer. Arsenal are keenly interested in Chiesa, with their representatives recently in London holding talks with the Gunners, among other clubs. Thiago Motta confirmed Chiesa's departure along with seven other players following Juventus' recent 2-2 pre-season draw with Brest. They are out of the project and need to find a new club, Motta said in a press conference, as reported by the Daily Mail. The 26-year-old's contract with Juventus runs until 2025, but he has been absent from the club's pre-season preparations and was omitted from the squad for the last friendly. This presents a huge opportunity for Arsenal to secure one of the summer's potential bargains, with Chiesa's price tag having dropped dramatically. Reports suggest that Chiesa could now be available for a reduced fee, with Tuto Juve indicating that Juventus could accept a modest sum. That fee could be as low as £13 million, a significant drop from the £25 million mark mentioned just a few days ago. Motta has made it clear that players like Chiesa, who missed the last pre-season game, need to find new clubs. With a career that includes winning the Euros with Italy in 2021, Chiesa's winning mentality could be a valuable asset for Mikel Oteta. Oteta wants two quality players per position, and Chiesa's speed and versatility make him a perfect fit on the wings for Arsenal. In a new move, Arsenal are reportedly looking to Brazil for emerging talent. The Gunners are preparing to make a €25 million Euro bid for 16-year-old midfielder Gabriel Carvalho from Brazilian club Internacional. According to Internacional timeline, Arsenal have shown significant interest in Carvalho since November 2023. The Brazilian club are expected to receive a bid of €25 million Euro plus add-ons for the young star. Arsenal have a history of success with Brazilian players, and they are now keen to secure Brazil's next big talent. Carvalho, who is highly rated at Internazional, has caught the attention of the North London club. Scouting has already been sent to monitor Carvalho during the Copa São Paulo, where he currently has a €60 million Euro release clause in his contract. Despite being relatively unknown and yet to make his debut for Internationals' first team, Carvalho has impressed at youth level. In the Copa São Paulo, Carvalho has played for games, averaging 30 minutes per game and boasting an impressive passing accuracy of 90%. While he has yet to directly contribute to any goals, Arsenal's interest suggests they see substantial potential in him. Transfer negotiations for Carvalho are reportedly ongoing. Securing his services will be costly, reflecting the high fees associated with Brazilian talent in recent years. Even if a deal is agreed, Carvalho will not be eligible to join a European club until he turns 18 at the end of August 2025.